Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Arcanize here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Arrow Season 7, Episode 3, titled Crossing Lines. Now, this episode was pretty good, so I'm going to go over my thoughts on it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's get into it. Always we will fight as one. Alright, so this episode had a lot of things I liked, and a good amount of things I didn't like. Overall, it was pretty good, but the main issue is how they're writing Felicity, because she is seriously getting on my nerves. Like, she was good in the first episode, but now she's just not, and I understand why they're writing her like this but it doesn't work it just doesn't work for me and that is an issue because it's gonna bring down the entire season if they don't figure something out a big part of it is they're giving her a lot of emotional material and Emily Bett Rickards can emotionally act at all she's just garbage like, I, this is why Felicity was great when she was the comic relief and doing quips that were actually, like, funny and making things awkward in the best of ways. But now, she's just, a, she's the main focus of the non-prison scenes, and it, it does not work, so they're gonna have to figure something out. This is a big reason why I'm so conflicted with Arrow this season. Because the prison scenes are some of the best TV I've ever seen. And they are carrying this season. And then when you leave Slab Side, it's just like, uh, Alright, gotta get through these scenes. For the most part, I did like their operation to take down Diaz this episode. Until Felicity started being Felicity and kind of ruined it. It was still pretty cool. And I do like the Longbow Hunters. They're pretty cool. My favorite is Silencer. Because Silencer fights are crazy. And me personally, I love them. Because all you hear are like muffled footsteps. And they're fighting. And there's just action and for me that is so cool to watch if any of you watch batman beyond or no batman beyond it reminds me a lot of shriek's powers because like they're very similar like shriek could kind of do the same thing canceling out sound waves but silencer it it's so cool when they're fighting in silencer silence you know so that that those are always very good for me. I do like those. Like we had one last episode between Black Siren and Silencer. And this episode we got one between Dinah and Silencer. So it was very cool. Also, there were no flash forwards this episode. I was kind of sad because usually those take away from some of the non-prison stuff. But... That meant we got more prison scenes in this episode, too, which were all great. The prison scenes were all amazing. Stephen Amell's acting is just phenomenal. And the best part of the episode, easily, was Oliver versus Derek Sampson, or Stardust, in prison. It was such an amazing fight. It was so good i rewatched it that's how good it was like i rewatched it probably twice it was so good i i just couldn't believe it that's easily the highlight of this episode i love that so much also the bronze tiger fight with his thugs was very good and oliver stoops kind of low in this episode but i like that he doesn't kill anyone like he, he really does think about crossing the line, but he doesn't kill anyone in this episode, and I think that is so Oliver, especially for prison. Now, can we talk about that ending for a second? So, does Diaz have Mirakuru? Does he have Mirakuru? What is that stuff he injects himself with? Like, I... I really, I don't think it's exactly Mirakuru, 
But I'm thinking it's some kind of drug derived from Mirakuru. Because someone pointed out he didn't get the blood from his eyes when he injected himself with it. But it's definitely some sort of super strength drug. And Diaz just got a lot more interesting and threatening. So, yeah, that is going to wrap up this review. I liked the episode a good bit overall. Felicity just dragged it down from being amazing for me. So, another thing, though, one more thing. I like the Longbow Hunters, but they need backstory. Like, I want some backstory for the Longbow Hunters because right now they're just assassins, and that's cool right now, but assassins can't carry, like, half of a season. So, they need a little bit of backstory, but... Overall, I did enjoy this episode a lot. Just Felicity is really getting on my nerves. I hope they fix that. So I'm going to give this episode an 8.7 out of 10. Let me know what you guys thought of it down in the comments below. That's going to wrap up this review. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Peace! Assemble.